Hi, this is Daniel Scrivener here with a quick preview of our next 20-minute playbook episode, which comes out tomorrow. In it, I'm joined by award-winning designer and entrepreneur Joey Cafone. Joey is the founder and CEO of Baron Fig, which is known for its incredible pens, notebooks, and journals like James Clear's Habit Journal. He's also the author of a brand new book called The Laws of Creativity, where he literally breaks creativity down into 39 laws that anyone can follow to become more creative. It's an incredible conversation you don't want to miss. Here's one of my my favorite moments from it. Tune in tomorrow to listen to the full episode. I want to switch tacks and ask a very different question. Uh, you know, if people listening could shadow you for a day from the moment you wake up until you go to bed, as creepy as that might be, uh, just kind of a fly on the wall, what do you think they would be most surprised by? And I think what I'm looking for here is something unique about your routine, the way you work, the way you live. Uh, I think it just, it, broadly speaking, they'd be as, you know, I'm going to follow a creativity guy around. I think they'd be surprised at how much discipline there is. Uh, I go to bed at 8.30 at night, get up at 4.30. I uh, you know, exercise, meditate, read. I play my trumpet and I do kind of a host of things, including writing. And then I go to work, right? And I kind of treat it like Kobe, you know, treated practice before practice, and I think they would be surprised at that because we, there's a stereotype of creatives, which is flying by the seat of their pants. And I'm here to tell you that that's absolutely not. And we need to separate that from what creativity is. We need to decouple this ridiculous stereotype so that more people can blossom creatively. Was that something that was always natural to you? Or have you had to work at that super intentionally over time? I think I've, it's a great question. Uh, I've only done what's natural ever, and I think it's my greatest strength and my weakness. I have been absolute, to pull in some D&D terms here, chaotic good is probably where I am. I failed 15 classes in college, didn't give a crap at all. I've gotten in a lot of trouble in my life, and then I discovered design, and it flipped, and I worked all the time, and I directed that chaos into powerful discipline, I suppose. Um, and I've been you know, specifically tracking my habits. I know it's a big thing now, uh, but I'm going on 13 years of tracking like every day, you know, tens of thousands of habits or whatever. You're user one, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm way back, man. It all came from a book. Do you remember uh, the, I don't know if they still make them, highlights that were in the doctor's office for kids? No. Oh, they had the, the well, it's a highlights magazine, at least up over here where I, I am in New York. And I read something about, I forget what it was. And I was like, oh, I could do that. I'll just, I'll make a little grid and track my stuff. And boom, it's stuck. 